Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. This Friday is start of another fantastic weekend at the championship meet. And we got nine races we're going to look at. And going into the day, we had a $1 million gross jackpot guarantee in the Rainbow Six. We'll check out the track, the weather conditions, and turn it over to track announcer Pete Ayala. The weather is beautiful. Sunny skies. Temperatures in the upper 70s. The main track fast. The Tapita track fast. The turf course firm. Race one on turf at one mile. Scratch the nine, Miss Tones. Number 10, collect a little. Make the jockey Paco Lopez. Scratch 13, calling all angels. 15, light and path. And 16, Lapari. Racing at Goldstream. From the inside, Bullet Valentina and Oopsie Doopsie away quickly, taken on by Seeking by the Storm, and she's marching forward. Seeking by the Storm, now to the top. Mary Gold is away racing in fourth, up on the outside. That's heading west, who's a bit wide on the course. From between horses, Miss Tones, alongside Kindness is free, and Grey Princess works between horses. Then it's back to reconnecting, a gap of another three to collect a little, and the early trailer is wand. Around the first turn they go, seeking by the storm, loose on the top end. She leads by four. Oopsie Doopsie together with Bullet Valentina, second and third. Mary Gold is three wide, then Kindness is free, and Gray Princess reconnecting under I. Rod Ortiz Jr. down toward the inside. The Gray Amor Salvaje is racing between horses for Junior Alvarado, a length and a half in front of Collect a Lil and heading west. Lady Bourbon is between horses, and still at the back is Wand. They have uh, less than half a mile to run in the race through a 48 and one half mile speed. Seeking by the storm has been in front from the outset and still maintains the lead. From the outside now, Mary Gold gets into second. Getting started, Gray Princess reconnecting, looking for racing room. At the rail, Bullet Valentina with Poopsie Doopsie. Amor Salvaje trying to work to the outside for Junior Alvarado. Collect a little, slides through with the inside. Three quarters, one twelve and four. Still plenty of chances here as they straighten for the drive. Seeking by the storm, taken on by Gray Princess. Princess reconnecting down the center. Poopsie Doopsie is running home and down the center, Amor Salvaje. Final 16th of a mile. Great Princess has the lead. Here comes reconnecting and here comes Wand. Reconnecting, surges late to win it. Reconnecting for the money. Second, Great Princess. Third, Wand. Then Amor Salvaje in 137 and two. American, of course, comes out firing with She's All Woman and Battle Cry moving to her. Simplify makes it a party. Away in fifth is She's a Happy Girl, the early trailer, Rosie Holiday. There's still four across the course here as they complete the opening furlong from the far outside at Simplify from the Rail American, of course. Three path, Battle Cry, in the two path, She's All Woman. They continue to spar, dropping over to the inside as She's a Happy Girl, second last, and four to the trailer, Rosie Holiday, out kicked in the early run. The opening quarter was 22 and 2 as they head to the half mile point. Edgar Perez, an American, of course, hard used with a neck advantage. On the outside, it simplifies second. She's all woman third. Battle cry roughed up early. Now she's four wide. At the rail, she's a happy girl and still at the back, Rosie Holiday. Battle cry does not appear to be firing. She's backpedaling here. She's lost ground at every call and is seven lengths off the leader. American, of course. American, of course, to the top of the stretch with she's all woman. Moving up on the outside now, second, back to third and simplifies. Back to fourth, and she's a happy girl inside Rosie Holiday. The odds on favorite is last to turn in Battle Cry as they converge on American, of course. American, of course, and she's all woman with an eighth of a mile remaining. Rosie Holiday, she's had all kinds of pace ahead of her, and she, here, here she comes now under Irad Ortiz Jr. Rosie Holiday rolling at the rail. Rosie Holiday from last to first to win. American, of course, for second. She's all woman third, then simplify on 23 and 2.
four beginning, Galactic Jack. Quick beginning for Rocka Rocka Cruz, who takes charge early from Jay's Delight, who's in a bit tight while racing second. Redisters on the outside and Elusive Empire second last. After the slow break, the trailer is Galactic Jack. Up front, Jay's Delight giving Rocka Rocka Cruz all he wants early, and they sprint quickly. Three lengths better than Redisser. At the inside, it's the Gray Elusive Empire fourth, but better than six lengths off the speed, and far back to Galactic Jack. Around the far turn they go. Jay's Delight on the comeback try. Leads a length and a quarter. Rocka Rocka Cruz all in to try to go get him. Three back to Elusive Empire who runs into third from a retreating Redisser who's now fourth. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Jay's Delight but only narrowly. Here's Rocka Rocka Cruz hard at work but getting to him. Three back to Elusive Empire then Redisser as they straighten for the drive. Jay's Delight trying to hold off Rocka Rocka Cruz at the fence. Elusive Empire. Eighth of a mile to go. Jay's Delight. Rocka Rocka Cruz and Elusive Empire. Elusive Empire finishing up best of all under Lionel Reyes. He's in charge and moving away. Elusive Empire in front. Jay's Delight second. He ran off Raka Raka Cruz, who was third. From way back, Galactic Jacks up fourth in 106 and one. At the rail, it's Wicked Mercury, one of the first to break the line. Spoonatra has speed, and out three deep goes Sandpiper Memories. Crystal Coast is together with Don't Mess with Tess, the two at the back, Maria's Honor, and Silver Magnetized. In the run to the first turn, Swoonatra has the lead now by almost two. Second is Wicked Mercury, and up on the outside, Sandpiper Memories runs into third. At the rail, it's Crystal Coast, then back to Don't Mess with Tess. She's a bit keen while working between horses. Second last, Maria Zahner, the trailer silver magnetized. They head into the backstretch now after an opening quarter mile of 24 and 2. The leader, Swoonatra, by a length and a half. Wicked Mercury, well placed by Lionel Reyes, racing in second with Crystal Coast at the rail third. Up on the outside, it's Sandpiper Memories racing in tight. Don't mess with Tess. No room for her yet. Then Silver Magnetized, who looks like she's going to try to get started outside her. And the trailer is Maria Zahner. 48 and 3 for the opening half mile. Less than half a mile to race. Swoonatra still the target. She leads by a length. Wicked Mercury still in hand and starting to creep a bit closer. Second. Third is Crystal Coast. Fourth is Sandpiper Memories. Now Paco looks like he's got a way out on the favorite dose mess with Tess. Still at the back. Silver Magnetized and Maria's Honor. They run to the top of the stretch through three quarters and 12 flat. Swoonatra has the lead. Don't mess with Tess. Stayed inside. Now she's trying to hook to the outside. Crystal Coast is right there with Wicked Mercury and Sandpiper Memories. Who do you like here? Eighth of a mile to go. They're swarming in. Here comes Don't Mess with Tess. And on the outside, Maria Zahner, the leader, Crystal Coast. Crystal Coast and Maria Zahner. Photo finish. Maria Zahner with an upset threat on Crystal Coast. And third was Don't Mess with Tess. Fentry was away quickly and looks for the early advantage. Up on the outside, tough to tame, has speed. Splitting horses and on to challenge as he's in charge as they run out of the chute. He's in charge, takes a narrow lead from Loudmouth, who's now second. Rough entries in the yellow at the rail in third. From between horses, it's create again and out deep on the course is get set. Win 99 stuck in traffic while sequestered down inside. Then it's tough to tame and out the back, the trailer is boldness. They run to the half mile point. The quarter was ordinary, just 23 and one with the advantage he's in charge by half a length. Loudmouth is there second, three wide gets set now third. Rough entry is there fourth, back to fifth and tough to tame. Win 99 hard ridden up on the outside. Boldness goes by him and now the trailer is create again. 
Around the far turn at the three furlong point with the advantage now. Here comes the run from Get Set, bidding up to take the lead from Loudmouth, who's second. He's in charge now, third. Rough entry, patiently handled and getting ready to play his cards. He's fourth and angling. Boldness is next, then back to the inside, create again. Win 99, not firing as they race for home. Less than a quarter of a mile to come on the far outside. Rough entry, loose for the drive, and he's charging hard. At the rail, it's he's in charge in between horses. Get Set, rough entry, hits the front. 16th to go, and rough Entry's a winner. He's eight to five in clearing off. Iran Ortiz Jr. for his third winner of the day. Rough entry in front. Second is he's in charge. Third is get set. Then boldness in 122 and three. Full beginning at the back, six lengths slow to get going with social sidekick. Great start for Peach Nectar, who's cleared the inside traffic already and has the lead by a length and a half over a headstrong Mr. American. Up on the outside, it's People Force, who's now third, two better than Gustavor, who's well settled in fourth. Up to the outside, it's Don Tonio with my favorite topic moving at the inside. The favorite Super Silver Dollar is lingering toward the back of the field. Ahead of him are both Etrata and Cyclone Ranger. And after a terrible beginning, the trailer is social sidekick. And the run around the first turn, Peach Nectar clear and tugging, leads by two. People Force is there second, Mr. American is in the blue colors, third at the fence. It's a length and a half to Gustavor who races in fourth with my favorite topic fifth. D'Antonio is there sixth, up on the outside seventh is Cyclone Ranger. Then it's back to Super Silver Dollar and Etrata. Still at the back is Social Sidekick. The quarter time was 23 and three. The half mile was 47 and four. Less than half a mile to go with Peach Nectar in front from the outset. Maintains a length advantage over people for a second. Mr. American is a joint third with Gustavor on the outside. My favorite topic is held up in traffic with the D'Antonio. Here's the big favorite, Super Silver Dollar. The gray and the red cap is drawing closer. He has traffic issues at this point, but starts to find his best ride. Then social sidekick as they run to the top of the stretch. It's people for us to shove a neck on top. Peach Nectar is second. Gustavor is next. My favorite topic slides to the outside. Super Silver Dollar produced down the center with an eighth of a mile to go. Luca Panici on the top end with People Force. He's a length and a half in front. My favorite topic is up into second. Gustavor is now third. Super Silver Dollar too late. It's People Force in front. People Force by two and a half. My favorite topic second. Gustavor third. Super Silver Dollar's fourth in 141 and four. Running. 
Top Gun Tommy away quickly with Acor down at the inside. Splitting horses, Assertico up into the top flight goes Duwab Don. Man on the Moon is actually last of all, but he's not far away as they converge on Top Gun Tommy. Top Gun Tommy leads, but only narrowly. Assertico up alongside second. It's a length and a half to Acor, who's together with Duwab Don, who's way out in the center. Man on the Moon is splitting horses. High Yield Kitten is toward the rail, and the trailer is all figure it out. 23 seconds for a reasonable opening quarter. Up front, Assertico doing battle with Top Gun Tommy, their heads apart. A gap of two and a half to Man on the Moon, who's in between horses, three wide, and Duwab Don out at the rail at Acor, then back to I'll Figure It Out, and High Yield Kitten is last. Around the far turn they go, less than three furlongs to the finish. The leader is Top Gun Tommy, but Assertico is continuing to badger through a 45 and four half mile. Man on the Moon is a hard ridden third. Duop Don is set down driving while racing fourth. I'll figure it out, swings into action for Edgar Perez. He's drawing closer, about six lengths off the speed with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Battling back inside, Top Gun, Tommy, and Paco under light handling. Paco's looking around for competition, and Top Gun Tommy is getting away. It's Top Gun Tommy with less than an eighth to go. Now four on top. Assertico is their second. High Yield Kitten rolling home into third. Top Gun Tommy geared down to win it. High Yield Kitten roll home for second. Assertico is third in 123 and four. We're ready for the start. They're off. They're off. Java Buzz was away very nicely, and he's reaching out for the early lead. Freedom Matters won't let him get far, and the two favorites get acquainted as they go to the clubhouse turn. King Alfredo comes away in third from Marissa's mission in fourth, the early trailer, Timmy M. In the run of the first turn, Java Buzz and Paco Lopez with rail position and the lead, but Irad Ortiz Jr. is up on the outside with Freedom Matters, and these two a half a length apart, working four better than long shot King Alfredo, two in front of Marissa's mission. He's well settled fourth for Zayas, and the trailer is Timmy M. 24-3 and three for an opening quarter, so Java Buzz has the lead. He leads by three parts of length. Freedom Matters is still second. A gap of four to King Alfredo, who's now third. A length and a half in front of Marissa's mission, and Timmy M is last. So they make their way to the half-mile point of the contest. Java Buzz has been in front from the outset. Paco trying to ration his speed, but he's being badgered every yard by Freedom Matters, who's within half a length. From third, it's King Alfredo, then Marissa's mission and Timmy M through a 48-second half-mile. Around the far turn they go. Java Buzz, but only narrowly. Freedom Matters is second. King Alfredo is third. He starts to gain on the top duo. Fourth in Marissa's mission, then Timmy M as they race for home. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. Java Buzz through three quarters and 11 and three. Freedom Matters right up alongside. These two continue to spar. Marissa's mission tries to split horses. King Alfredo on the outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Java Buzz digging in gamely. On the outside, Freedom Matters. Late run from Timmy M. Freedom Matters surges forward and freedom matters is in front second is java buzz from timmy m third marissa's mission fourth in 135 flat away.
On the far outside, ready on the line, well served at the break. Mateo has a bit of speed, and here's Prussian Blue speeding through to challenge. Pasajera's away at joint fourth with Pluma Roja. The early trailer is Malek. In the run of the round, the first turn with the advantage now up to take the lead is Mateo in front by a length. Second Prussian Blue, third outside, ready on the line. Then Pluma Roja and Pasajera. Malek is last. They make their way past the opening quarter with Mateo putting up the numbers, leads by a length. Over ready on the line, second, the quarter was just 25 and three. Prussian Blue is at the rail, Pink Cap racing in third, a length and a half better than Pasajera fourth. And Pluma Roja and Malek is last. Strung out over about five and a half lengths in the run past the five eighths. The leader is Mateo, three parts of a length, ready on the line, a bit closer second. Then it's the Phillies. Pasajera's alongside Prussian Blue, third and fourth. Out the back are Pluma Roja and Malek. 50 and four for a half mile speed. It's been Mateo in front. He's in, still in front. He's in half length better than ready on the line second. Pasajera now third. Pluma Roja starts a bid between horses for Zayas. Dropping back a touch Prussian blue. Malek has never been out of last as they round the far turn. 50 and four for that opening half mile. They approach three quarters with ready on the line. Turning up the heat on Mateo. Ready on the line takes the lead from Mateo who tries to fight back second. Pasajera and Pluma Roja are next. Malek hooks to the far outside for a stretch bid. Three quarters, 115 flat. Still plenty of chances here with the advantage. Mateo ready on the line. Pasajera. Hera, Malek on the outside. Final eighth of a mile. Mateo digging in on the outside. Malek surging forward. It's a last to first swoop from Malek, and he's a winner. Malek going away in the end. Mateo holds on for second. Pasajero was third. Ready on the line. Made a bill bid, but flattened out to be fourth. Then Pluma Roja in 143-4. and four. And that wraps up Friday's action. What a card tomorrow. 12 races, our first race post, 12, 10 p.m. And we got stakes action. We've got the Gulfstream Park a Sprint going six furlongs on the main track. Going to be a great day, so make sure you come out and join us. Good night and good luck.